Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through the tree map visual for the Power BI desktop. So I was going through this uh, world population map for the countries. And as you can see, China and India have the highest population and then there are other countries. So I thought I'll just check and see uh, how uh, tree map depicts it. So I've loaded this data. And what I've done is I filtered for the top 10 countries. And you can see it shows us the China, India, and then there are these other countries. But there's a remarkable difference and it, it's actually visible to us that China and India actually contribute to a huge chunk of population in the world. And I could I could reduce the size of this as well. But you can see it's it's still visible to us which which countries are contributing the most to the world population. So I'll just create a just create a separate page and then click on the tree map visual. And I will just go the on country and then I will go on population. And you can see this visual and it's immediately something that is vi visible to us. So this is an example of creating the tree map visual. So what is a tree map visual? As per Wikipedia, tree map is a method of displaying hierarchical data using nested figures, usually rectangles. So in this case, we've not really used hierarchical data, at least that we are not drilling down. But still, it, it does show us uh, data by groups and how each group and the volume for each group. Uh, when should we use a tree map? So when we've got limited space and large number of items, as you can see uh, here, if you could reduce the size, even if we had less space, we could immediately tell which countries contribute. So you can see automatically, we can see even if we have less space that India and China are the ones which are, uh, which have a major chunk of the population. And when the correlation between color and size is e easy to spot. So it basically means that we can easily tell there's a number associated with a color and that number is what we're looking at analyzing. And when we should not use a tree map, it is not good if there's a big difference between magnitude of measure values. For example, if I just added a filter here on countries, and I'll just select Mexico and China. And as you can see, if there's a huge difference, this hierarchical data, see if the size goes down, it's just very difficult to tell. And we could have some more countries, for example, Russia. But as you can see, it's just very hard to tell which other countries are there. So that's probably what they mean when they say that if there's a different there's a huge magnitude of difference between different items, don't use a tree map. So I hope you find this video useful and are able to, uh, as a thumb rule, figure out when to use a tree map or not after watching this video. Um, thanks for watching this video.